A magnitude 7.2 earthquake kicks off the week, 105 kilometers west of Merghob, Tajikistan. It was the second major quake of December and the 138th of this year. And carrying the main theme from last week, Mount Aso in southwestern Japan's Kumamoto Prefecture joins the long list of volcanoes showing increased activity. The eruption spewed smoke about 700 meters above the number one crater of Mount Nakadeka, one of the five peaks that constitute Mount Aso, the Japan Meteorological Agency said. El Nino is blamed for South African heat wave as temperatures hit almost 40 degrees Celsius again this week. For the third time this season, Gauteng and surrounding provinces are experiencing a severe heat wave with temperatures hitting highs of 39 degrees Celsius. And this time it's Costa Rica's Turrialba volcano launching a new explosion on Monday, spewing ash and vapour into the sky. Freaky weather, <coughs> excuse me, as rainfall record is smashed in the UK. Temperatures in the low 60s, which is 16 degrees Celsius, and the next storm is on its way. Even a Met Office chief scientist admitted the weather was extraordinary. Tens of thousands of people without power in Ireland and the UK. Storm Desmond smashes the highest rainfall record for a 24 hour period in parts of England. Stone bridges which have stood for centuries were swept away in the floods and Norway saw the worst storms in 150 years. Winds of over 160 miles an hour, twice as strong as the criterion for hurricane force winds, battered Iceland in the week, smashing the wind measuring equipment. The East Iceland weather station of Halomstay House picked up a wind speed reading of 72.6 meters per second. Wind speeds are described as hurricane force when they hit just 32.7 meters per second. The storm theme continues in Northern Europe. Norway is recovering from 200 year old record flooding. So severe, homes were swept away, leaving only the foundations. It's only supposed to last through November, but it has spread from Mexico to southwest Florida since September. Red tide bloom responsible for the deaths of tons of fish moves into Manatee and Pinellas counties. Florida officials, sorry, are still playing down the problem. And 30 dead seals, 18 dolphins, pelicans and other birds found dead along the coast of Peru. Starvation thought to be the cause. Many species were found stranded on the shore of the beaches located between Juan Chaco and Santiago de Cayo, Peru. And yesterday the north of England were preparing for the next round of flooding which was expected to hit yesterday after last week's record deluge. River levels in the country remain high with floods having deluged homes and businesses for five days after Storm Desmond. The Met Office issued a yellow weather warning and a spokesman said that although the forecast is not expecting floods as severe as those last weekend, it would not take an awful lot of rain for there to be a risk of rivers overflowing. 
A disturbing report this week said that 40,000 acres of seagrass is dead or dying in the Florida Everglades National Park. Drought and high temperatures are thought to be the reason. Almost 30 years ago, a seagrass die-off in Florida Bay led to massive algae blooms in the famous fishing grounds. A magnitude 6.9 Indonesia is the third major quake of December. It is also the 139th major quake of 2015. And another volcano getting in the act. The Can Leon volcano in the Philippines is the latest volcano to erupt spewing ash and steam half a mile into the sky this week. El Nino phenomenon unleashes its fury. Millions of families at risk of starvation and cattle perishing in a frightening drought. Pilots are too scared to land aircraft on blazing, blazing asphalt. Sorry. Zimbabwe experiencing the highest temperatures in 60 years. Zimbabweans are gazing far lonely into the cloudless sky and it has dawned on everyone that climate change is no longer a dismissible mantra peddled by fringe scientists but a real danger to livelihoods. President Robert Mugabe took farms from white farmers and gave them to inexperienced natives, adding to the tragedy. Strongest recorded storm on record is to impact Alaska this weekend. Hurricane force wind gusts are expected, along with 50 foot waves. It caps off a week of horrendous storms around the globe. And there is one more celestial sign of wonder to come before 2016. A rare supermoon on December the 25th. This year a supermoon will appear on December the 25th, which is a very rare event with the last one in 1977. And a Christmas full moon will not happen again until 2034. December's full moon is called the full cold moon according to the farmer's al almanac. Gulf of Mexico coastal area now closing beaches due to red tide algae bloom in the states of Mississippi, Alabama and Louisiana danger to humans and marine life alike. Health officials say the red tide release toxins that can con contaminate shellfish and kill fin fish. It also causes respiratory problems for humans. Now as President Obama reached his climate deal in Paris calling the historic agreement as a tribute to American leadership I went to the beach with the dog. I don't know what the temperature was, but it certainly wasn't the middle of December. It was more like the middle of October. Call it what you want, global warming, climate change, a new mini ice age. I don't know, but it sure is weird. And finally, a big thank you. Yesterday, the Big Wobble passed 12 million hits which is more than the entire population of Sweden. This since it began again two years ago. We have witnessed together 292 major earthquakes, countless volcano eruptions, the rise and fall of Ebola, the rise and rise of ISIS, many hurricanes, typhoons, cyclones, tropical storms and floods, not to mention the horrible heat waves. Much, much more as well, but I'm running out of time thank you again and hopefully i'll see you all next week